Hey guys, so I did a little bit of rearranging here on my little shelf, which consists of a top shelf, a second shelf, and just some drawers that I keep various things like my oracle and tarot cards and books and whatnot, incense, you know, stuff like that. I have an abalone, or abalone, not sure which way you say it. I think it's abalone shell that I keep my... Uh, used matches and things like that in, and my beautiful Labradorite that reminds me of a butterfly wing, the way that it's shaped. Anyway, I felt compelled to rearrange this for the past few days, and I really didn't do much other than kind of switch. I had all of these crystals in my Himalayan salt lamp on the top shelf, and I had the crystal grid on the second shelf, and I've just felt compelled to bring the crystal grid up into the top. So I just kind of reversed them. Um, but I want to talk to you about my crystal grid because uh, I know you hear a lot about crystal grids, sacred geometry, um, you know, and a lot of people probably are wondering, is, is this witchcraft? Is this new age? Is it science? What is it? And personally, I think that it's all of these things. I do uh, resonate very much with sacred geometry and the idea that everything has basically a, a set uh, geometry to it, um, you know, and, and the way that we develop in the womb to, uh, and, you know, our cells, uh, dividing the, the, the flower of life is um, very representative of the um, embryo before you know it, it actually forms into a fetus when it is first just cells and dividing upon dividing upon dividing it looks like the flower of life so the flower of life is considered to be the kind of like basis of life uh, this particular grid that the paper underneath I know that I found a design online and I kind of copied it. Um, this is, I don't know if it's called a particular thing. I, I have a flower of life that I usually use that I, I made myself. And I always try to make them myself because I think they definitely hold more energy and more of your essence when you make them yourself. So, um, but anyway, the stones involved here are, um, and by the way, I call this my chakra, my chakra crystal grid because it um, is to represent all of my chakras. So what it is, is in the center here, I have a green chlorite phantom. You can kind of see the phantom in there. And that is my, my central crystal uh, to this grid, and it also represents for me my crown chakra. And then starting here, um, representing the root chakra is red jasper, and carnelian for the sacral, tiger's eye for the solar plexus, uh, green aventurine for heart, lapis lazuli for throat, and last but not least, amethyst for the third eye chakra. And then around the outside, I have alternating um, Lemurian with quartz. So every other one is a Lemurian, and every other in between the Lemurians is um, just regular quartz. So I have had this grid up for about a year, and um, I, I don't just have it you know, here to represent my chakras, I actually go through a process to really connect each of these stones with each of my chakras. And what I will do is I will either place them all on my chakras and kind of meditate with them for a little while, or I will set the grid up like this. And before I activate it with my, um, my, my crystal point, I will, I have some, some water that I collected uh, actually fell as snow on December 21st, 2012. I collected it and let it melt. And what I will do, and I usually will do both of these things, um, I you know, lay the grid out 
And then I will dip my finger in the water. I will touch on my body, my chakra, and then I will touch it with the corresponding uh, stone. And I'll go all the way around like that and really try to make a, a, a connection, a energetic connection between my chakra and the stone that represents that chakra. Um, sh crystal grids are really fun. You can get really creative with them. This one's pretty simple, as you can see. Uh, some of them can be very elaborate, and sometimes they don't have to be anything at all, but just a simple one stone uh, on a grid, or you don't even need a, uh, an actual grid, you know, to lay it on if you don't want to. Um, but I feel they are extremely effective. I've used crystal grids for many different things. I had an abundance grid that I made once. Um, and I tried to center it around my Etsy shop uh, where I, I sell my living necklaces. And literally within five hours of setting up this grid, I made like six or seven sales all within just like a couple of hours. Um, and that was just very abnormal. Uh, I usually don't make that many sales on my Etsy. I usually only, I usually have the most sales during Christmas time because people are looking for unique gifts. Um, so crystal grids can be very powerful and they are definitely a lot of fun to do. So just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you enjoyed my video and I will talk to you soon. Bye.